To factory reset your speakerphone, press and hold the mute button and Bluetooth button simultaneously for five seconds until it restarts. All settings and the pairing list will be cleared. If the voice prompt unavailable is announced, then the option to factory reset your device is disabled in your EPOS Connect software. Activate the option within the software in order to factory reset your device. To power on the speakerphone, press and hold the power on off button for two seconds. The LED will light up white. To power off your device, simply press and hold the power on off button again for two seconds. The LED will flash red three times and then turn off. All volume settings are saved automatically. To pair a mobile device to the speakerphone, enable pairing mode by pressing and holding the Bluetooth button for two seconds. The Bluetooth LED flashes alternating between red and blue while searching for devices. Now, enable Bluetooth on your mobile device and select your speakerphone from the list of available devices. Once connected, the LED lights up blue. To pair the mobile device to the speakerphone using NFC instead, enable both Bluetooth and NFC on your device. Now, move the mobile device in small circles directly above the NFC area of the speakerphone. Once connected, the Bluetooth LED on the speakerphone lights up blue. You can connect your speakerphone to your PC by cable or via Bluetooth with the dongle included. To connect it by cable, release the USB plug from the holder on the back of the speakerphone and unwind the cable. Plug the USB connector directly into a USB-C port or into a USB-A port using the adapter included. The speakerphone turns on automatically and the LED will light up white. To connect the speakerphone to your PC wirelessly instead, use a Bluetooth dongle. First, plug the dongle into your PC. Enable pairing mode on the speakerphone by pressing and holding the Bluetooth button on the speakerphone for two seconds until the LED flashes alternating between red and blue. Then, press and hold the button on the dongle until the LED also flashes alternating between red and blue. Once the speakerphone and dongle are connected, the LEDs flash blue three times. The speakerphone's LED then turns blue and the LED on the dongle switches to a dim blue. You can switch between two Bluetooth modes on your speakerphone, personal mode and shared mode. In personal mode, the speakerphone will attempt to connect to one of the last eight paired devices. In shared mode, pairing must be performed every time you're connecting a device via Bluetooth. To enable personal mode, press and hold the Bluetooth and plus button for two seconds. To enable shared mode, press and hold the Bluetooth and minus button for two seconds. After changing modes, the pairing list is cleared automatically. You can control calls on your speakerphone with the hook on and off buttons. To accept an incoming call, press the hook off button once. To reject it instead, press the hook on button once. To put an active call on hold, double tap the hook off button. To end an active call, press the hook on button once. To redial the last called number on a mobile phone, double tap the hook off button while not in an active call. To cancel redialing, press the hook on button once. You can control multiple calls on your speakerphone with the hook on and off buttons. While in a call, to reject a second incoming call, press the hook on button once. To accept the incoming call and put the active call on hold, press the hook off button once. You can then toggle between the two calls by double tapping the hook off button. You can also end the active call and resume the held call by pressing the hook on button once. To merge the two calls, press and hold the hook off button for two seconds.
To end all merged calls at once, press the hook on button once. To unmerge the calls instead and return to one active call and one held call, press and hold the hook off button again for two seconds. The previously held call will be put on hold again. You can control media with the smart button. Press the smart button once to play or pause media. Double tap the button to play the next item on your playlist. While media is playing, the activity LED lights up purple. You can control media with the hook on button. Double tap the button to play or pause media. Triple tap the button to play the next item on your playlist. While media is playing, the activity LED lights up purple. You can adjust three independent volume settings for the speakerphone, call volume during active calls, audio volume while listening to media, and the volume of ringtones, beeps, and voice prompts while the speakerphone is idle. Press the volume up button to increase the volume. The status LEDs and volume will increase by half a step with each press of the button. To lower the volume instead, press the volume down button. The status LEDs and volume will now decrease by half a step with each press of the button. To mute the microphone on the speakerphone, press the mute button. The status LEDs will light up red. To then unmute, press the button again. The LEDs will now turn off. When the battery on your speakerphone is critically low, the first status LED will flash red. To charge the speakerphone, use the USB cable to connect it to a USB-C port or use the included USB-A adapter to connect it to a USB-A port. The speakerphone will now start charging. You can track the charging progress on the status LEDs. Please note, Voice Assistant is only supported for devices connected via Bluetooth. The available functionalities depend on your connected device. To activate Voice Assistant, press and hold the Smart button for two seconds. The activity LED will flash and then turn green. To cancel Voice Assistant, press the Smart button once. You can use the Teams button to bring up Microsoft Teams on your computer. Simply tap the button once to bring it to the forefront. To update the speakerphone's firmware, first, download and install the EPOS Connect software. Then, connect the speakerphone to your computer using the USB cable or dongle and follow the instructions in the software.